Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create an Amazon product review article in Gizmo. Gizmo is a powerful WordPress plugin with which you can create AI generated affiliate content to promote Amazon products. If you haven't yet, I'd encourage you to watch this video tutorial on how to set up your Gizmo account. So I'm logged into this demo WordPress website. Click on Gizmo AI in the left side panel. And these are the types of articles that you can create in Gizmo. Currently, I've clicked on product review. These are all of the Amazon products that I've added to this Gizmo account, which are under your product tabs. Under the latest public products tab, you'll find many different Amazon products that have been added for all Gizmo users. You can use the search box to find specific products from the list. For example, I'll search for Fire TV. And it'll filter all products based on the search term. I'm going to create a product review on this Amazon Fire TV. So I'll click on the Select button. And in this right side panel is where we need to follow a few simple steps. First, we start by entering some keywords. You can enter up to four keywords, and I'll go with Amazon Fire Smart TV. Next, you need to choose a theme. There are several themes here, and I'll stick with the default general theme. And click Next. In step two, we have some additional content settings like adding images, links, FAQs, pros and cons, search schemas and tags. And I'm going to leave all of these as default. Let me scroll down and I'll click Next. In step three, we can monetize a blog post by using our Amazon affiliate tag to earn commissions. Click on Add Affiliate Tag and you'll see this pop up. Enter your Amazon affiliate tag in this box and then click Add. You can add multiple affiliate tags if you want to, but you can only use one tag per article. Down below, you've got a few monetization options to add Amazon Buy buttons, a related product carousel, and hyperlinking specific keywords in the article. Again, I'm going to leave these as default and then click Next. In step four, you can choose the featured image. You have a few options here for other images, or you can use AI to generate images. I'm going to stick with the default image because I prefer this one. And I'll click Next. In the final step, you can choose a language. There are many different languages to choose from, and I'll stick with the default English. And finally, click Save as Draft. It'll start processing the article. And once completed, you'll see a Save as Draft button. Click the button and it will save this post as a draft. And you'll see this Edit Post button. Click on it and it will redirect you to the draft post in WordPress. This is the native WordPress Gutenberg editor, but you can also use third-party page builders like Elementor. Yours will look a bit different depending on the WordPress theme that you're using. And it's recommended that you review the content and edit it. So next, let me just cover a few settings here in this right side panel. First of all, if you hover your mouse over the featured image and click this Replace button, you can then add an image from your media library or upload a new one. I'm just going to leave it as is, so I'll close the media library. In this right side panel, once again, you can add an excerpt by clicking the link and then adding it into this box. So I'll go ahead and add one, and then close the dialog box. So I'll scroll down in the right side panel, and then I'll change the categories like so, so that it's tech related to the blog post. Further down below, you can also see that tags have already been added, but if you want to, you can add some more tags if you want to in the box. And finally, click the Publish button at the top once you're happy and ready to publish the blog post. 
So let me show you how the published blog post looks like. And here is how it came out. As you can see, overall it looks pretty good. All of the images and buttons that are within the blog post have the Amazon affiliate tags, but I would highly encourage you to review the article and edit it if you need to, rather than just using it as is. You can check the link of this article or blog post in the description section. You can try Gizmo for free. Check the link in the description section. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.